কবে গৌরবনে সুরধনিততে হারাধে হা কৃষ্ণ বলে কাডিয়া বেরাম দেহ সুখ সারি নানা লতা তোর তলে সপস গৃহতে মাগিয়া খাইব শিব সরস্বতী জল পলিনে পলিনে গড় গড়ি দিব করি কৃষ্ণ কলা হল করি কৃষ্ণ কলা হল ধামবাসী জনে প্রণতি করিয়া মাগিব কৃপার লেস বৈষ্ণব চরণ রেণু গাই মাখি প্রভু হে বৈষ্ণব চরণ রেণু গাই মাখি ধরি অবধূত বেশ গৌরব রজনে বেদনা দেখিব হইব বর জবাসি গৌরব রজ জনে বেদনা দেখিব হইব বর জবাসি In this material world for whatever reason everyone tends to celebrate their birthday <laughs> but the real fact is that the birth into illusion because we've come into the prison house of material existence when you think of a prison you can think of four walls uh, which makes it uh, inescapable like a ma maximum security prison so in this material world there's birth disease old age and death impossible to get out unless you get the mercy of krishna or his pure representative so we don't really have much to celebrate when we come to this world but when the lord comes to this world we celebrate his birth or we like to say his his appearance because by his appearance the uh, world the people in the world they have the opportunity to get out of this prison house of material existence so where he makes his appearance that's called yoga peeth it's it's worshipable it's it's very auspicious where he chooses to appear because he can choose to appear any place on this earth but we know that actually he always appears the different incarnations appear in india <coughs> in bharat because well it's studied in chaitanya charitamrita that the most pious people in the universe <coughs> they take birth in india in bharat and we can see that from especially past uh, ages where such sages as valmiki and so many great sages have appeared in this world to in lightness and Krishna consciousness. So <clears throat> I'm standing before uh, the actual tree under which the most recent incarnation of the Lord, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, made his appearance. Sachi Mata gave birth to Nimai Pandit under this tree. So what could be more auspicious? What more auspicious place could you imagine in, in India, <clears throat> uh, in, in the world, in the universe, in the material creation is that particular place where the lord appeared for what reason he comes here for a reason what is his desire by the mercy of shastra and, and our spiritual teachers we know his desire was as always in an incarnation to deliver the pious or devotees to annihilate the miscreants and reestablish the principles of religion <clears throat> so age after age he appears and that's going back eons and eons of time we don't have much access to those places or, or those pastimes other than hearing about them but we're very fortunate that in this particular age Kali Yuga most recently you could say in cosmic time just a moment in cosmic time Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared with Lord Nityananda and the Panchatattva and all their associates to flood the world with the nectar of chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra so I feel very, very blessed to, to be standing here. Um, I often think of this Yogapit, the place where Mahaprabhu appeared. 
when traveling and preaching in different parts of the world under sometimes difficult situations, austere situations. Prabhupada told me personally one time, he said, when did I ever say preaching is easy? To push forward a spiritual movement in the material world, it's quite like carpenters say, that's going against the grain. But we do it because Mahaprabhu asked us to do it and his pure representative, Sri Prabhupada, taught us how to do it. And actually those austerities, they're nothing compared to the joy of uh, participating in the Sankatan movement and those special moments. Those spe every moment special for a devotee, but those special, special moments when we get to come to some place like this, just, you know, under the tree which Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared. I mean, what, what causeless mercy has brought us here? I've come with a, a party of a devotees who are doing parikama. What have we ever done to bring us to this most auspicious place? Just like the sun shines in a particular part of the sky and the sun rays go everywhere. So the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is coming from this spot. This is where he appeared. This is his appearance site. So it's glowing over the whole world. And how have we come here? We've come here by Sridhar Prabhupada's mercy. It was Sridhar Prabhupada who went to the West and captured our hearts and, and brought us back here to India from time to time so we could take inspiration from these holy places and then of course, go back to our respective countries and, and share the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So I'm, I'm just kind of overwhelmed here, just standing in this sacred spot. And I paid my obeisances and gave my vows that I would continue um, preaching Mahaprabhu's mission in this world to my very last breath. And then if necessary, by His mercy, take birth again and again and again to spread His mercy until the whole world is chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So from Navadweep Mayapur under the beautiful neem tree, it's been preserved, it's been nicely taken care of. Um, we share the blessings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu with all of you that you may also continue spreading His message, which is so easy. Chant, dance, have some harikata, and take prasadam. Can conquer the world with this wonderful movement. All glories to Sri Prabhupada. Hare Krishna. So on our tour of Navadweep, we've come to Sriva Sangam. This is a very, very special place where um, actually you could say the Sankatam movement in essence started here because this is the place where Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would, in the evenings, he would, in the nighttime actually, he would invite all of his associates, his pure devotees, to come and relish the chanting of the holy names. 
Um, at one point, however, as we know from Chaitanya Charitamrita, he asked them to, to go out of, of that house, of Shiva's Thakur's house, and uh, go village to village and chant Hare Krishna. <laughs> he made that prediction that his holy name would go to every town and village of the world, so that was the first step. <laughs> They went to the different homes in the different villages in, in, here in Nadia and introduced the Sankatan movement. So this is also a very, very special place where the golden avatar appeared to drown the world in uh, love of God. It's a beautiful verse I was reading just the other day by Kavi Karnapura. It's in the uh, Chaitanya Charita Mahakavyam, uh, first part, uh, first verse. It, it describes the success and why Mahaprabhu was so successful. Let me read it to you. Krishna is the personification of condensed sat, eternity, chit, knowledge, and ananda, bliss. Previously, in the land of Sri Vrindavan, he danced along with golden-hued damsels of Braj. Now, did it so happen that due to tightly embracing these gorangi, golden-hued gopis, he himself turned into Guranga? and is now ever victorious in the land of Navadweep. <laughs> Parambhidayate Shri Krishna Sankatan. It means all glories to the victorious Sankatan movement of Lord Chaitanya. Nothing can actually stop this movement. Actually, nothing can stop it. It will go on for the golden age of Kali Yuga. The golden age of Kali Yuga is described among scholars as the next 10,000 years. It'll be victorious. There will be obstacles, there will be setbacks, that's to be expected. We see that in Vrindavan Leela, but it just makes the victory even more relishable. So we feel very inspired to come here and, and where the holy name was chanted by Gore and Itai, Panchatattva and their associates, just to be in this atmosphere because that transcendental sound vibration remains here. This is the, this is the beauty of a Dom. This is the beauty of a, a Tirtha, a holy place like this, that that, that particular mood stays there. We go on Purukamba because we want to visit different moods, different rasas, different tastes in Krishna consciousness. There's variety. Variety is the spice of life. That's especially true, absolutely true in Krishna consciousness. So here's one taste that we're relishing on our Purukamba. We're coming to where the pure devotees chanted, the Supreme Lord chanted, and where the devotees started the Sankatan movement. And as this verse says, he himself turned into Garanga and is now ever victorious in the land of Navadweep. And his pure representative, Srila Prabhupada, on the order of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, he took that victorious message all around the world and we will leave here and we will follow in his footsteps. Shiva Sangam Ki, Srila Prabhupada Ki, Shisha Gaurani Thai Ki, Navadweep Dham Purakama Ki, Gau Premanandi. गाइते गाइते नाम की दोषा होइलो गाइते गाइते नाम की दोषा होइलो कृष्णा नित्तदास मुए हिदायत पुरी No.
हेरी ए चिंता विशाल